legendary athlete, 30 year sports caster, 12 time Olympic Games caller. She's a wonderful mother, and very old activist, <laughs> world traveler. And this year, wait for it, drum roll, she is uh, doing Kin Bowl. Wow, that was wow. good. Kin Bowl 2 announcer. Please welcome Mary Carrillo. <laughs> So let's, uh, you know what, the, the kittens come first. Uh, let's, Natch. let's show you what you're going to be dealing with soon. Okay. Here is the kitten bowl. All right. And we're back. The Hardys leading 48 to 27. Here in the fourth quarter, the Panthers need to score and score often if they want to stay in this game. I look to veteran Aaron Podgers to step up here, or the Panthers may turn to rookie Cat Stafford to spark some offense. Cat Stafford is a Georgia kitty. He grew up playing catch with his brothers on the banks of the Catahoochee River. Locals claim that Stafford once threw a pass from Forsyth clear into Fulton County. <laughs> I'll tell you what. The Hardys are biting their claws now after the Panthers recovered an onside kick. The Panthers are marching down the field and are looking to score quickly. Their biggest opponent now is the clock. Aaron Hodges passes to Tordy Nelson. Touchdown, Panthers. I'm telling you, uh, you, couldn't, you could have dropped a pin here. <laughs> Everybody was so intent on watching what happened. Can I tell you something? The kittens are not, they don't quite have the focus that you people have. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's hard to herd, it's hard to get them interested, focused. Yeah. You know, it's a big sport, football in our country. Yeah. For kittens, yeah, not so much. They pass the time with other pastimes. Yeah. It's hard. Well, well you we look heard... like you're having the time of your I, life. I absolutely love being a part of the Kitten Bowl. It's going to be an awful lot of fun. I'm not going to tell you. No one knows who's going to win, obviously. Right. And the cats don't seem at all concerned in draft future draft choices. They don't seem interested in, you know, the betting line at all. Not at all. Not at all. But they're very curious, you know. Viral videos. I mean, uh -huh. the biggest ones are animal videos yeah. and cats, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, they're adorable. They're curious. They're mischievous. You're going to see all of that. It, oh, I, is your partner next to you the same one? Because he's a familiar voice to all yeah, of us. John Sterling. Sterling. John Sterling, yeah. the longtime boy. Talk about a legend. Longtime yeah. voice of uh, the New York Yankees. He was a part of Kitten Bowl One, so he yeah. really knew what was going on. And well, I, I was a rookie, but I, I tried you, to stay up. You try to stay there. Yeah. But you know what? You're not a rookie. You've been yeah. doing stuff. You know, when you look back at your career, French Open stuff, John McEnroe, whatnot, what do you, what is there, I, I hate asking this question because people always say that to me. What's the best time? You know, there's so many. But is there a story that you gravitate, gravitate back to? Well, I did. I played professional tennis not long and not terribly well. But the only thing I ever did of note um, in 1977, um, me and my childhood friend, John McEnroe, how many of you have heard of that guy? Yes, yes. We won, I know, we won, he was 18, I was 20, we won the French Open mixed doubles, which was his, his first major championship, wow. and my last. <laughs> <laughs> but I love sports, um, and I love animals. And right. I've been, over the years, I've gotten to do the Westminster Dog Show, the National oh, Dog sure. Show, now I've made that tricky furry transition from dogs to cats oh. i'm absolutely <laughs> delighted i'm gonna Were you torn over that decision of, it was rough it was no, <laughs> absolutely it kept me up it kept me up of course yeah. <laughs> but uh, cats and dogs cats but you know hallmark channel loves animals too of course. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yes. it's a great address yeah. for this big event yeah. and you're gonna love it you're gonna love it perfect yeah. it doesn't matter how many paws right. they have it really they're, doesn't they're, they're, they're always welcome here can we pause uh, for just a moment and and oh, by the way there's a lot of shameless puns that you'll be hearing on kitten bowl too Yes, it, it, but we want to pause for a moment uh, to talk also about the, the different celebrities that are involved in this. So they just, it, it did so well last year. And everybody wants on board this year. Regis Philbin, Philbin is yeah. back. Mm -hmm. uh, Mario Lopez. We have our commissioner, the commish, the commish. of the, fem the Feline Football League is Boomer Esiason, who's a, oh, oh, wow. oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, Maria Menounos is, is part of the show as well. Well, yep. look, we're big supporters here, too, at Home and Family, so. It's going to be big. You know, You're going to love it. You're going to uh, love it. Okay. Um, I, this, I was really taken aback, actually, by how much this was trending, though, last year. And how many, uh, when you're watching it, because, you know, we were, actually, you were over the house with the football yes, game. Yes, yes. And I had everything going on. The food was cooking, and we're doing our thing. And you came in, and you yeah. were like, do you see how big this is? Yeah, and what it was trending on. Right, and yeah. Was, A lot of animals, you, you can't imagine that they're. I had no idea they could do. <laughs> yeah, <that's> <laughs> they were tweeting. Uh, they were right. tweeting away. I, they were. Uh, their pager was going off. I mean, look at this. How can you not watch this? <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what it is? It, we were all so focused that it actually calms you and it makes you happy. Just, yeah. just, just yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Here's the crazy thing. I'm actually allergic to the athletes. <laughs> oh, no. Really? A, a very quick story. I knew I was allergic to cats. Um, but then I found out I was doing a, a figure skating show uh, with Susan Anton. Remember, beautiful. Yeah, right, blonde, and she beautiful. looked unbelievable, beautiful. We're about to go on. We're, it's at the MGM Grand where they have lions, you know. The yeah. big, big cat. And one of the lions had cubs that I started playing with right before the show. Oh. I'm allergic to lions. <laughs> How do you find that out until it happens? Yeah, so, so we go on air, and she looks, Susan Anton is absolutely gorgeous, and I am blotchy and puffy. I, can, I put a bag over my head. For this. Yeah, so even though I'm allergic to these animals, um, you can't, you, yeah. you know, it, it, you got to be near them. Well, you got to love them. Hallmark and the uh, Kutten Bowl is lucky to have you too. And we're so lucky thank to have you, you here with us. Yes. By the way, even if you have an allergy, you can just put it on your TV and step back and watch. Exactly. We invite you to do so. Hallmark Channel Kitten Bowl premiering at the second one, Kitten Bowl 2, premiering February 1st, 12 o'clock uh, Eastern and 11 Central. And for more weekly updates, you can go to uh, their Cat Center video updates, oh, yes. which is hallmarkchannel.com forward slash cat dash center. You see it at the bottom of your screen there. And you'll get all the fun stuff. The fur was I, would, I think we should see yeah. this in the NFL. We should have guys climbing the goalpost to block the extra point afterwards. <laughs>